Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the new artificial speed force that is going to be coming at the start of the season. We're going to explain everything about what might happen. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. But before we go into it, please be sure to follow me on Twitter if you want to stay up to date with me as we try and grow our social media following. And also follow me on Instagram at the DCTV show so it's all the same as the channel so you can find me on both of those platforms. Also, if you want to help and support the channel, please become a member by clicking the join button. All details are there. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the topic. So the artificial speed force, let's explain this. So. It seems like when they create the new Speed Force, there is going to be some changes, and what changes could there be? Well, the new abilities Barry could get could be something like what we saw recently in the comics a few years ago with Wally West, because basically you had Rebirth, they rebooted everything, and the continuity was changed, the timeline was changed in the comics, and so in the new comics, they made it that Wally was stuck in the Speed Force, and Barry was out in the world and Barry had to drag him out of the speed force and basically that was like a big discovery and so whilst he was stuck in the speed force he was there for such a long time and he was able to gain new abilities and essentially become better and faster than Barry due to his extra time studying and being inside the speed force which Barry never had in the comics but essentially that all adds up to him becoming the fastest man alive as they race in Flash War that was a couple of years ago so now how does this link into the Flash season 7 and what Barry's going to be doing when he's creating this new speed force well his current mission is to create a new speed force get his powers back and essentially become the Flash again because he's been slowly losing all his powers after the death of the Speed Force, which he, by no means of his own, actually basically killed the Speed Force, and you had that episode last season. And so with him finding a new way to get his powers back, they've been struggling recently. Well, recently I'm talking about the ending of the season, because I believe he was supposed to get it in the last three episodes sometime around there, and be able to become the proper Flash by the end of the season. So he's trying to get his speed back, and he's trying to find a way and this will 100% happen, he's definitely going to get his speed force back, he's going to get his powers back, because Godspeed is coming, and he's coming for his velocity specifically, that's what was said last season, and if he loses all of his velocity, all of his speed, there is literally no reason for Godspeed to come, and Godspeed has been confirmed to be coming this season, and I mean, it's pretty obvious that he's going to get his powers back, because after all, the show is called The Flash, and a huge part of it is watching Barry zip around the city, fighting villains with his super speed. So you know that he's going to get his powers back, but it's just a matter of how and when. So essentially he will get his speed back, and I presume this is going to be very early on in the season, in season 7. As they were experimenting near the back half of season 6. And like I said, I believe that they were going to lead up to the finale and give him his powers back. And, you know, somehow that speed force machine is going to essentially work at one point because they've been working on it and you know they've looked at Nora's diary and everything a few times they failed however they're getting close and so this new artificial speed force whatever it turns out to actually be and when it eventually works is going to be just another way of gaining speed instead of the normal speed force way obviously due to the death of the speed force but this time it will be artificial aka made up and it's going to be kind of like the reverse flash and his negative speed force that he created, although being a completely separate thing. And so I just wanted to bring up a quote from what was said last season, when Nora tapped into negative speed force and reverse flash said this, breathe, you're reaching out and nobody's there, the loneliness is pain, pain racing through your mind, crushing you, wrecking you, shattering your soul into a million little pieces, and suddenly you are no longer you. You're part of something different now, part of a negative speed force. So I wanted to bring up that quote because that was when Nora tapped into negative speed force and it brings up the point of how he created this speed force and why it's different and why Barry should never tap into it and why it's definitely not a possibility and how maybe they might create his new speed force. And with the negative speed force being created and it's actually artificial, basically yes, there is a way to create 
alternate versions of the Speed Force. And so negative Speed Force is an artificial extra dimensional energy that was created by Thorn at some point after replicating the Flash's powers. And obviously he's from the future, so he would know this new Speed Force that Barry creates. And to be honest, when you think about it, he probably replicated this new Speed Force rather than, you know, the normal Speed Force that we have. Because obviously by the time of the future, the Speed Force is gone, it's dead, because Barry killed it in the present. And so speedsters with a connection to the Speed Force can gain negative Speed Force powers by exercising their fear hate and anguish to such an extent that it corrupts them from the inside and that's basically what powers the reverse flash and it powered Nora for a brief period of time last season she saw her eyes turn red and stuff like that well it wasn't last season it was the season before season five however it was recently and it's definitely a relevant thing that I think they're going to look back upon because you know with creating this new speed force he's essentially doing the same thing that the reverse flash did studying the speed force the normal speed force and creating their own new version of it and so with this the specific words that is used is fear hate and anguish that's what powers the negative speed force so what could power barry's new speed force can be the complete opposite of that i think that makes the most sense and i think there is a way if they study what thorn did obviously they tried to do that with nora's journal and everything however if they actually properly study it they can you know reverse engineer that essentially and doing it through hope instead and so i think that's very possible what do you think about that so when barry creates his own artificial speed force that could be a very different thing because potentially you're into different territory where you might be changing the color of your lightning because if you look at the past and all these alternate versions of gaining speed there's velocity 9 that zoom and trajectory had which turned that lightning blue and over the years we've had all these different lightning colors and obviously that depends on what earth the flash is on and you know how they got their speed and everything because you've seen like the accelerated man on earth 19 he had purple lightning we never got the explainer for that however you know in the comics they have a way of explaining different lightning colors on the tv show they've not really gone into it that much apart from red is bad yellow and orange is good because that is related to normal speed force and so obviously with negative speed force they have red lightning nora got red lightning also they never explained nora's lightning which was a weird mix of what iris had at one point and then barry's lightning as well so that was just like a thing where you kind of add it up yourself you're like oh iris plus barry equals yes this lightning kind of makes sense so yeah, there's all these different possibilities for this new speed force. I don't think it's going to drastically change his color of lightning because I think it's so iconic, you know, the yellowy orange. And I think it would maybe look a bit weird if he got like purple lightning or like green lightning or something like that with his red suit. But that's just a little bit of speculation in terms of speed force colors and lightning. And it seems like this is going to happen pretty soon with that Barry is going to get his new powers. Godspeed is going to come along. You know the speed force is going to be created i guess some other people are probably going to tap into it especially wally because that was the whole reason why he came back last season because he realized that there was something wrong with the speed force and so obviously at first it's just going to be barry's speed force but then other people are going to be able to use it and maybe there will be the ability to give it to non-speedsters and maybe that's how godspeed gets it i'm not sure maybe godspeed is from the future and he's already got a taste of this and he wants more of barry's new speed force that would be an interesting twist so it seems like maybe barry will get some new abilities because he's going to have this new speed force he's going to be the only one using it at first and maybe you know how it looks could change in terms of lightning when barry runs so it seems like when this finally is made which is probably going to be very early season seven and Godspeed will most likely try and siphon off of his new speed force and his new powers. And that's probably going to be part of the story at the start of the season or whenever Godspeed comes in. But I'm presuming he's coming in at the start. That's just kind of my theory right now. And so in terms of velocity right now is going to be a new thing. And he's going to be the only one tapping into it. So he may be faster than ever. So that's about it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Like I said, links are in the description below. They're at the top of it. And also remember to subscribe, leave a like, 
and comment on what you think about all of this. Do you agree with these theories in terms of this new speed force? He's 100% getting this new speed force very early on in the season because, you know, they were planning to do that at the end of last season and now it's going to happen at the start of this one. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.